what's going on fellow game developers? My name is Muddy Wolf and today I want to share with you how I plan a new indie game and keep organized with my notes. All my projects usually start out as a messy note in my little notebook here from adding pros and cons to just mapping out, even designing some levels. Uh, it's super simple. I usually write down a bunch of things, but it gets quite messy using a notepad. That's why I only start off with this just to collate some ideas and actually come up with the base plan for what I plan to do. Now, this approach is great to get some rough ideas on a page. However, it's unorganized and hard to keep track of. So once the messy note stage is complete, I move on to the mind mapping approach of collating all my notes into one place. To do this, I use Scrintle, an easy to use digital canvas for converting your creative ideas into a well-structured set of notes. Scrintle takes the usefulness of simple note-taking and combines it with a powerful mind mapping user interface so you can keep your notes organized. Now, this video is actually sponsored by Scrintle. However, they have asked me to give an honest review and to be honest, it's pretty awesome. I actually do use it for game development on a regular basis. So let's get back to how I plan my games. So starting with Scrintle, we head into the actual Scrintle page and normally I will create a new board per project. There is the My Desk page, which is super useful if you like to have a bunch of things here and there, a uh, quick glance. Uh, but I like to go into my boards and go into a specific board um, and then start up a new project. So one thing I want to do is create the sort of Binding of Isaac game and combine it with VR. Now there's Ancient Dungeon VR, which is pretty awesome. There's also some other really cool roguelike dungeons, but there's none that really give me that Binding of Isaac scary sort of down vibe. So I wanted to come up with a different solution called the the Wacky Dungeon VR Prototype. It's just the, the project name. There's no, it's not what it's actually called. There is no name for it yet. Uh, but here you can see how I go about using Scrintle to organize my notes. I start off with an overview and as you can see, you can just create a new note by double clicking on the page. Um, I can actually go down here, add cards, boards, daily cards, text, columns and web links. There's a bunch of different things in there and there's loads of features in Scrintle that are super helpful, helpful for this. As you can see, I can open up like a little overview here and actually have a look at this. So you can see a virtual reality game based on the roguelike The Binding of Isaac and with a similar style to do. Uh, traverse through procedurally generated dungeons, taking out enemies and finding upgrades. Now that's essentially the overview of the game. So you can see here, I just throw some rough notes in there. I can also drop images in here straight from Google, just copying and pasting them in, um, which is super useful. As you can see, I've added the two different styles I want to combine to make this game. I then have a section where I will add all my mechanics in. So this is only a few of the mechanics. I um, have some ideas here where I want to actually use some guns and it's really cool. So Scrintle really helps this by just making it easy to keep all my notes in one place. I can then go back to this whenever I want and check out the different notes. You can see I've got enemy types down here. And one of the other nice features uh, Scrintle has is a task list. Now tasks, I don't believe we're in this when I started using it. It's actually something fairly new to me, um, but it's super helpful. So when it comes to setting up projects, I normally will use Notion to create like a Kaban style board, but sometimes a Kaban board is too much for what you actually need and you need something a bit simpler. So I currently now use Scrintle to just set up a few different tasks when I need them. And the nice thing about this, so I go into the task tab and you can see all the different tasks I set up in different boards and they will list them right here. You can see it, how it's viewed there and you can see in here, you can come in here and actually tick them off. And you get a nice little how many's remaining. So you can see how many's remaining and it shows a little visualization of that. The last thing I like to use with Scrintle here is actually to link some things in, uh, in the bottom. So I have a game design document here and also the Notion document too. So I usually will use Notion for both the game design document and the um, the actual Caban style boards. However, if I've chose to use this. Uh, sorry, I've chose to use a Google Doc for this one because I'm collaborating with other people, and Google is just easier for me to collaborate with. Uh, but normally, I'll use a Notion board like this and actually play everything out. I can then link this in Scrintle so everything is in one place. 
I can also come in here and edit how these look so you can see it's a bit more neater and nice. And the nice thing about this is you can actually move things around. Let's say you wanted to change this up. You can come in here, click this, move this over here, and you can organize it however you want to. There's also an organize button here, which will actually organize it yourself. You can see it doesn't work for some things. Sometimes a title goes missing and the actual documents go all over the place. Um, but it's super easy to fix by just using the undo commands. Now, as I said before, there's a bunch of different features to this and you can actually go into this and try all of this out. So Scrintle have been super kind and generous and gave us a 10% discount off the personal pro plan, uh, which is valid for four weeks after this video is live. Definitely get in there and use the uh, discount while you can. You can get Scrintle right now for $5.49, the personal pro account, and then you can add on top the 10% discount as well, which will obviously take some off the top of that. So as I said, once we have uh, planned out all the features to the game in screen or with all the notes and the little um, areas I can then take this information and put it into a Kaban style board so we can add in each thing like setting up the project um, and from here we can actually go in and see okay we want to add power-ups to our game we can come in here and just say uh, power ups and then add in the description straight from Scrintle so it's all in here. We can even link back to Scrintle. We can even then come in here and drop in our link to Scrintle so we can open that up straight away. So if you're working in a team and you want to collaborate on this together as well, you can actually come up to here and anyone with a personal pro license will be able to, you'll be able to share with and I believe you can add up to five other team members from this, but they are working on a beta version for teams. I believe I saw that on their actual homepage down here. So you can actually come down here. Can we collaborate? And it says here, you can actually fill out an application for a team beta account, which is something that's coming soon, I believe. I don't specifically know the details, but it seems like it's coming in the future, which is really cool. Squiddle gets updated quite often, which you can see here by their release notes. Now, to finish the way I plan a project off, once all of the items are in this section inside of the um, Kaban board, I will then go through and start working on the project, start working card by card. I usually have some sort of order I follow. Um, and then once that's all done, I will change it. But sometimes during development, you actually change things because things don't feel right. So normally I'll come in here and I'll actually just go in and just tweak some different things. And you can simply go in here, add tasks in. You can go in here, add bullet pointed lists. So you want to say, you want upgrades, you want guns, you want power ups. You can add all of that stuff in here with a bullet point list. You can come in here and format your text as well. You can set to H1s, H3s and bold. It's quite a powerful and diverse tool, so it's really good when you want to have pretty notes as well. I know a lot of people do like their notes looking really good. I'm a very, I'm a scruffy in when it comes to my notes and I like to have all the information just there so I can see it and click into it. It's an organized mess, but it is there. So guys, that is actually how I use the power of screen tool and Notion to plan my games. Both of them combined make such a powerful tool. Having the ability to mind map everything out and have it all in a nice organized way is super useful to then turn that into either a game design document in uh, Notion or Google Docs, and then also to be able to plan out a command board all from the information I keep in screen tool. But guys, don't forget, you can actually get 10% uh, off. There is a link down below with a code. The code is MUDDY10. So don't forget to use that when you check out for getting your personal pro plan. Scrintle is super awesome and I 100% recommend it for those who are trying to plan out projects. So it's actually super easy to use and also pretty cheap as well, which is super helpful for us indie developers who don't have a massive overhead of funding to rely on. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you in the next one. And let me know what you think of Scrintle down below in the comments. It's a super awesome tool. And let me know if you also use it as well. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Peace out.